And new at 6 o'clock, the first big lawsuit has been filed by a worker at the Deer Park Shell plant uh, who says he has severely injured when a fire erupted, suffering burns and injuries to his neck and his spine. In fact, that worker says there were a number of employees severely hurt in that fire. Also tonight, Judge Lena Hidalgo says Shell officials have resumed sending chemical wastewater from that fire into the Houston Ship Channel. KPRC2 investigator Bill Spencer has been on the story all day and joins us now live from the banks of the Ship Channel. Bill. That's right, Keith. We are right alongside the water right now. You can see the Shell refinery in the distance right behind me. And the problem today, the same problem we were dealing with over the weekend, Shell officials ordering that runoff water used to fight the flames and that blaze be directed into the Houston ship channel. They shut down that discharge yesterday, but now it is back on again. And that has many people very worried, especially those in the seafood industry. <laughs> At Katie's Seafood Market in Galveston, they've been selling fresh caught seafood for more than 25 years. And business is a booming. Two of them? Yeah. Okay. For Nick Gutierrez, manager at Katie's, his whole life has revolved around the sea life that thrives in Galveston Bay. But now, four days after that massive fire erupted at the Shell Refinery in Deer Park, Nick is very concerned about the wastewater runoff from that fire that Shell has been funneling into the Houston Ship Channel at times at the rate of 11,000 gallons a minute. And we're hoping there's not a whole bunch of shrimp dead or people are, you know, killing, or killing the oysters or, you know, something like that. This is video showing where that water is being directed into the channel. Shell stopped the discharge of wastewater from that fire yesterday, but started it back up again. Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo tweeting, we are aware that Shell restarted its discharging of wastewater into our ship channel in light of the rain. We're verifying that regulations are followed and that this is the best possible course of action. For Nick, whose two brothers are commercial fishermen, he fears any kind of harmful effect on especially the shrimp population in Galveston Bay could be devastating to local shrimp fishermen. Bigger shrimp plants are not paying, they're not able to pay good prices on shrimp because their freezers are full. There's a lot of imports coming on the market and um, it's really, it's really been detrimental to the American shrimper, so they're having a tough time already. Also watching this closely are A.J. Forsady and June Lee, who both live in Galveston and practically live on fresh seafood. I think it'll affect you affect some of the seafood, whether it's oysters or shrimp or fish, flounders, whatever. There's no doubt about it. It's going to affect it. So again, a lot of people very concerned about this. Again, the TCEQ, Harris County Pollution Control, uh, the EPA and also Shell are monitoring the waters. They are doing daily testing. Experts say that testing needs to continue for weeks to make sure the water is okay. Reporting live, Bill Spencer, KPRC 2 News. A lot of people interested in those results, Bill. Thank you.